Hi, I'm Matt from Offroad CC, and today I'm going to be doing a first ride review on this, which is the Canyon Grail On. But it's not going to be a normal first ride. I'm going to push this to the limits. I want to see how far the battery can last. So, a quick little bit of info on this this is the Grail On 7. Uh, retails in the UK for just under for a penny under £5,000. And this has got a Bosch Performance Line CX motor and a 500 watt hour battery. Now, I want to see how far this can go. So I have used Kamut, I've put a route into that, and it's a nice sunny day, summer's around the corner, or summer hopefully here today, and I want to get to the seaside. So the route I've got is 122 kilometers with a fairly sizable 2,200 meters of climbing. And I want to see if this battery and if this motor can last the distance. And I'm not going to be turning it off. I'm going to be leaving it on the whole time and seeing how far I can get. So we've got four settings, eco, tour, sport, and turbo. Now I'm going to be really realistic. This is going to be staying in eco. We'll see how far we can get. There's one section in particular that I wanted to, to take the bike to, and this is a very boggy section. Uh, there's a bridleway going across the mountain, and in places, it's, uh, it's really hard to navigate. And if you get your bike stuck in the mud, it can be really difficult, especially uh, on a normal bike. Another section I wanted to try and get in was a moorland section. It's a section where on a normal bike it can be really tough just because it's soft underground and uh, very difficult in places. Here the Canyon Grail uh, e-bike was actually fantastic. It managed to maintain the, uh, the speed across and didn't have to, to get off the bike at all which is good because in places it was very, very boggy. So I'm pretty much halfway around, almost exactly 63 kilometers so far done. Uh, I've just stopped here. This is the Elan Valley Visitor Centre. It's a useful place for me. I've just refilled on water and I'm um, ready to go around. I thought a good chance to give a little bit of an update on, um, on the battery status. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I've only lost one of the five bars and that one bar came off when I'd done 47 Ks. So I know all riding is different and uh, the range it's not going to be the same depending on where you're riding and things like that but if I keep going at the same type of pace then I can do potentially like 240 k's on this bike which uh, I'm, I'm yeah I'm gobsmacked uh, and I think what we can do now is up the ante I'm going to put the power up I'll use it as and when I feel like a bit more I might put up a bit and and see how we do uh, done 1300 meters of climbing so maybe a thousand meters to go I've got a really nice scenic off-road bit coming up I'll see, see how long the battery lasts when I can start putting it up a bit. The second half of the route was very scenic and there's one absolutely fantastic section along Clyrowan Reservoir. This is kind of gravel, although it's really rough in places. It's, uh, it's a really good test for the bike. The wider tires that the bike has got really suited this type of terrain. And from there, it was more nice, quiet back lanes all the way down to the last section and back to the seaside.
actually made it with ease. I've still got two out of five bars left on the battery, 120 kilometers, 2000 meters of climbing done and all that second half was done on tour. Uh, I didn't move out of that and still got two out of five left and I've got to say that ride I've done has been absolutely brilliant. I've really enjoyed this and a lot more than uh, I was expecting to be honest. Um, had some really nice routes, the scenery and the roads have helped but just uh, the bike has actually been been really good, uh, not just the, the battery aside. So to, to sort of sum up and review the bike, negative bits first and I'll start with the bars. I'm still not a convert to this uh, hover bar or biplane bar, whatever you'd want to call it. Okay, so there is a potential extra comfort on the tops, but I could probably count on one hand how many times I used that section. The issue is when you need more control, you need uh, to have access to the brakes. So your hands are going to be there or down there. So when uh, when you want the more comfort, you, your hands are not going to be on that section. Also, the cables are pretty messy and um, if you ever wanted to adjust it to change the setup it's got less flexibility in that um, so I, personally i prefer to have a normal bar regardless of what flex is in there the other downside really is the lack of attachment points that this has got so i have got a saddle pack there which is carrying some some items for me it would be nice to have a few more options if you were to go bike packing and as you can see the distance i've done now this makes it a genuinely usable bike to, to do some bike packing on maybe if we had some anything bolts on the fork that would be that would be the main thing um, because obviously lacking the third bottle cage underneath so i've got my spares in here uh, you could carry another bag there perhaps so you're also because of these bars you uh, and there's no bolts there you're lacking space there so that's probably another thing that i would say is a disadvantage but really that's it that's about it uh, in terms of plus points and and what's really good, um, comfort is fantastic. Really like the comfort on the bike. I don't know if you might have spotted, but these are 27.5 tires and wheels, and this is a 700 by 47 tire. Uh, that extra width compared to a normal Grail, which would have a 700 by 42, gives a really good level of comfort on the bike. So that's a big plus. Also, the tires that they fitted to this are really good, really grippy, good all-round tires. Comfort on the back, I'm a big fan of this seat post, this Ergon and um, Canyon seat post. Gives plenty of flex, lots of comfort on it. It's, um, yeah, really nice. Otherwise, in terms of the spec on the bike, the drivetrain seems good, brakes are good. This is GRX kit. Uh, one by gearing is also good. You've got a 44 on the front with an 1142 gives plenty of range on the bike. Um, not completely convinced by the carbon fiber chain set. It's more the fact that uh, why do you need a carbon fiber chain set on an e-bike? It's not going to be for weight and it's not going to be for stiffness. So, but I guess it looks good. So people are, if you, if you want a nice looking bike, then people are willing to, to pay a bit more for it. So maybe that's it. Otherwise, uh, very little bad things to say uh maybe geometry on really steep stuff but then it's not really designed for that i've taken this on everything and it, it has handled it it hasn't really dealt with the really rocky stuff as well as something with even more tire clearance or even more tire width but um otherwise it's been a great bike um, and a lot of fun to ride i really enjoyed it